Greetings, and welcome to Faroa. Today, I will be taking you through how to make a bug repellent pouch using a few simple ingredients. This pouch should help to keep away mosquitoes, spiders, mice, and even more. You will need one quarter cup of dried rice, one half teaspoon of dried thyme, one quarter teaspoon of dried clove, and or two drops of clove essential oil, three drops lemon essential oil, five to six drops lavender essential oil, and or a pinch of lavender flowers. I will be hand sewing the pouch, but any organic fabric pouch will be just fine. This one is approximately seven inches by two and a half inches when laid out. Here I am folding the shorter ends and sewing to make room for the drawstring. I sewed up both sides and did a sort of messy back stitch. I turned it inside out and stitched the sides up with a sort of blanket stitch. decoration or nice little embellishment, I tried some embroidery. Now, not saying I'm very good at embroidery, nor was I using any techniques, but I really do like the outcome. Next, I chose a ribbon for the drawstring. Using a safety pin, I fed the ribbon through the tunnels of the pouch. Afterwards, I stitched up two tunnels together. I found that while I was sewing this, it may have been easier to sew up the tunnels before I put the ribbon in, but it works either way. Lastly, I put knots on the end of the ribbons so they wouldn't slip through the tunnels. Now that the pouch is done, moving on to the ingredients. First, combine the dry. One quarter cup of rice, one half teaspoon of thyme, one quarter teaspoon of dried cloves. Next, add the oils. I added two drops of clove, three drops of lemon oil, and five drops of lavender oil. Then mix everything together. I added one more drop of lavender oil, just for good measure. And once I was done mixing, put everything into the pouch. Just as a little extra thing, I added one pinch of lavender flowers. Close up the pouch and make sure it's secure, so none of the ingredients leak out. You can put this anywhere you don't want bugs. A closet, a shelf, even in a tent. The day I made it, I put it in my room overnight, and in the morning, my room smelled faintly of lavender and cloves. I hope this video helps. Let me know if you made it and how it worked. I hope to test it out on buggy summer nights. It's time to say.